hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel welcome to another video 2022 january guys i'm so stoked i'm glad that i got an opportunity to make this video this is my first video for 2022 i hope everyone had a great festive season i hope you enjoyed your festive season guys welcome to the new viewers my name is levi masilo welcome to the lm gang and to the og the ones that has been there for me in the past year i really appreciate you for taking your time to watch my video today's video guys it's all about plans that we are doing and at the end of the day it's not for young people only it's for everyone those who just passed their metric those who just got their diplomas and their degrees from the universities and colleges those who are already in their professions those who still confused they don't know what to do i mean guys at the end of the day you have to start somewhere and build up until you get some but before we start the video let's see guys because this year we've got a better attitude we have changed everything guys let's see the intro so that we can start this video don't cry we gotta live before we die i'll be vivir antes de morir yeah you're gone but i'ma just do my best and try doing my best to hold up at night perdiendo mi mente and i feel it distraction is i know you've already started with your planning your vision boards plans for this year you already focused everything that you want to do for the rest of 2022 but we know at the end of the day to sustain everything that you want to do it's not easy therefore i've got five five good habits that you need to start and maintain for 2022 the first one it's all about career guys make sure the career that you choose make sure that the career that you are choosing you are passionate about it because guys what you think and focus is not the same as when you go to that company that you wanted to work for the longest time when you get inside the company it's a different ball game remember you're going to get those managers you're going to get those supervisors who are always grumpy they are not happy i can tell you for sure for free many people they've got stress they've got anxieties depression people are dying because of those sicknesses which we are getting from our workplace guys some of the workplaces are not good but you need to prepare yourself when you go to there therefore you must make sure that you've got a good habit when it comes to the work that you're going to do it's good to start as early as now you know to have a side hustle to have a skill that you learn or to start a business those things they will assist you in a long run guys you see things are bad people are losing jobs companies are not doing well therefore when you've got something on a side as a side hustle a business or skill that you can grow in a long run you can imagine in the next 10 years you've got a business that is doing well i mean by then you can even leave your job because already you know you've got a sustainable business that is doing well which is bringing money therefore if you still stuck into 9 to 5 you don't have any side hustle it will be a challenge i will ask you especially for those who just finished the matrix those who just qualified from universities try to get something on a side a side hustle yes there are people who are getting paid very well they don't even care about the side hustle but for those like us we know guys the struggle the best thing to do for yourself is to have a side hustle that will maintain you when things go sour i think that is the best thing that you can do maintain that that good habit it will do wonders for you in a long run the second good habit that you can start and maintain for this year guys health look after your health if you've got a good health nothing will go wrong we're not saying you're not going to die you're not going to get sick you will but the chances are most of the time you'll be in a good health guys three times a week just go out for a jog just do exercises home workout just try you can you can even walk outside just for 15 minutes to 20 minutes at least to keep your body active that will do wonders for you i can assure you guys the other thing is guys eat healthy try to eat greenery try to eat those 
cabbages as much as people they are mocking people about cabbage never mind about them just eat your cabbage just eat healthy that's the best thing that you can do drink a lot of water guys there are smoothies that you can if you are able to buy because the smoothies they are also good for you those vitamins that you get from them they are also good for you but if you're just eating junk every day if, guys it's not good for your body I can assure you I'm talking from experience again not because I am you know suffering from those but people that I grew up with people that I live with people are now coming to the gym you know they're trying and it's hard but I can tell you one thing if you eat well you will see the difference in your body and how your mind works how everything in you it will change and of course guys I know some of you won't be happy alcohol guys try to minimize Drinking too much alcohol is not good for your body. It's not good also for your face. But try not to drink too much. That's all I can say, guys. The third good habit that you can start is finances. Yes, I know, guys. I'm not saying I got it figured out. No, I'm not. I'm also having problems of my own. I've never got a chance when I was still in high school where I had to learn about finances and stuff. But guys, if you are able to handle your money in a good way, look, keep it up guys. Finances are very important because most of us, we don't know how to spend our money. We are so careless. You need to learn how to spend your money. You need to learn how to handle your finances so that come the next five years, you don't have a problem. Your credit record is good. Guys, there's a lot of things that will disturb you and me. In making sure that our credit is healthy or we've got a good record when it comes to our finances because one mistake that you do it's gonna take time before you can able to get hang of things the other thing guys that you need to know between saving and investing the purpose of saving is to have money when you need it in terms of emergency you know that you've got money that you have saved up sometimes you get sick you don't have medical aid You've got money that you have saved up. At least you can rush into your savings and just grab a belt and then attend to your emergency. It can be anything that will need that saving. Guys, if you save, at least, guys, that's the purpose of saving. So that when emergency comes, you know you've got something. When it comes to investing, the purpose of investing is to create a wealth for yourself for many years to come. One. If you want to buy a house, let's just say you gave yourself five years. The investment will come handy whereby after five years, you've got money for the deposit of the house. I like when you just want to buy a house now without here, even planned for your house, then it will kill you when it comes to the deposit of the house. One important thing guys that I've learned, try, I know not everyone's got money, but try if you've got cash buy your car cash why i'm saying this at least when it comes for you to buy a house your credit score it's good but now you've got a car you need to buy a house and you're not getting that much salary it's not gonna balance and you won't have chance to buy a house but my advice buy a car cash so that you can be able to buy your house with a credit that it's having a good credit score but at the end of the day the good thing is if you are able to handle your money in a correct way guys the sky is the limit that's the good habit that you need to start now and maintain it in the long run sometimes we use money for unnecessary things you must start trying to learn how to use your money it's a good thing to do for yourself and for your family the fourth good habit that you can start now and maintain for 2022 it's technology yes i understand uh technology now guys let's be honest things are evolving things are changing guys 10 years ago we didn't even know that we'll be watching our smart tv we didn't know that you know the way the cell phone have changed most of the things we didn't know we didn't know that the robots will be taking over but now everything has changed it is vital for you to start learning something with technology i'm not saying go into it i'm not saying change your career what i'm saying learn something from technology there are a lot of things that you can learn from technology but 
if you still stuck on the analog guys we are far now technology is changing each and every day as people that are doing software engineer as people who are in it they will tell you from where i'm working guys we do have those smaller yana problems and they need us to go in you know dig in and assist yourself you work in maybe night shift the it guys are not there and you try to call them there's nothing they can assist you with you need to you know roll up your sleeves and go in and learn something we're learning every day technology is there to teach us a lot of things why we buy smartphones what else we don't want to know anything about technology you know old people you go and teach them something on the phone they come okay what's up when they start using whatsapp they post the, like you know they got that thing now i can be able to operate my whatsapp i can be able to operate my phone the way i want that's the spirit learn something small small but at the end of the day you'll be able i'm telling you in the next 10 years everyone will be obliged to know something about technology that's the unfortunate part the fifth and the last one guys relationships yeah this one is big guys relationships we know we've got different types of relationships but for those guys who are going into relationships make sure that whatever partner you're choosing it's a right partner for you because the problem is when we start getting involved with people you know that honeymoon stage where we're still learning of each other we're still enjoying those kind of you know those touches and stuff but when the honeymoon stage ends and then you start seeing the colors that's where the problem but what i can say to you that's when you need to be honest when it starts make sure that you are honest that partner of yours needs to know everything about you it can be small it can be big make sure that that thing that secret he or she knows about it because at the end of the day somewhere down the line when things are now big and are out of control you are unable to stop you know the whole relationship then you have a problem try to tell your partner as early as possible about any secrets that you have be honest anything because at the end of the day we coming into the new relationship with baggages we have problems from previous relationships and we want to bring them into our new relationships that's why we fail just try to have a good habit of telling your friend or your partner anything that is bad that you have experienced secrets anything then you'll be good the other thing is the title guys i have a problem with titles girlfriend boyfriend husband wife those things some people they take them too serious for me i would say for your partner make sure that your partner is your friend look for a friend don't look for a, for a husband or your wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend it is important to have a friend so that whatever you're going to discuss with him or her it will be easy because your partner will not take you as that husband or whoever title that you'll be having on your head but your partner will take you as a friend it will be easy to discuss and it will be easy for you to play to do things and it will be easy also for your partner to come to you and say how about we try this how about we do this now you've got a title I'm the husband everyone is scared of you I'm the wife and you now you're getting big you're getting fat you're just sitting there you're doing nothing guys that's not the how it goes you need to keep that friendship going you need to build that friendship so that every time whatever you're doing you just you are free you can do anything with your partner at any time anyway yes i understand you need to respect people touching each other by the beach or wherever you're walking but if you can understand the fact that this is my friend more than anything else then you can do anything that's where we can solve a lot of problems lastly don't forget to have a good relationship with your family yes we know we coming from different families things are not as good as they look some of us we have problems with our families some of us we don't talk to our families some of us we don't talk to our siblings our parents there's a lot of problems in the families each and every family is got its own but once in a while call check if everyone is okay even though you don't go and see them or you haven't seen them for many years just call them and say guys hey are you good i love you i was just checking on you i miss you that's it you go out i know going home they're going to tell you about one two three you're going to have a lot of you know discussions that you don't want to be involved in but make sure that you have a good relationship with your family once in a while just check them 
if you made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed each and every tip that i gave you guys please subscribe share and comment guys i will appreciate that guys welcome guys let's enjoy 2022 let's work hard let's make sure that we grow and we become better people and guys until we meet on the next one see ya